Jake Paul and Tana Mojo. What do they have in common? Well, they're both blonde, they're both controversial, and they both have big dicks. Metaphorically speaking, as in they're both hashtag savage. And listen, I've done videos criticizing both of these people, but no matter how much somebody fucks up, I can always respect the grind and the strategy behind somebody's content. And these two have been making moves lately. Let's start off with Jake Paul. When he's not copying clip art and claiming it as his own original merch design and promoting illegal gambling to young children, Jake Paul is actually a pretty business savvy guy. He's very smart in the way he navigates controversy to boost and maintain his relevancy. In my opinion, of the four main people involved in the big boxing match last year, Jake Paul was the one to milk the event most efficiently. He even plugged his new merch fresh off the fight, sweat dripping down his face with his belt around his chest. And despite this hateable image that he's got online, we have to keep in mind that he's a real person and he's been through a lot over the past year. From Team 10 crumbling under him, people exposing him left and right, to a very public breakup with Erica Costell, the fact that he's got the drive to keep going despite all of that is remarkable. Alongside him, we've got Tana Mojo, famously coming off of the disaster that was TanaCon last year. Now, Tana is an interesting case to me. Before TanaCon, I didn't know much about her, so it was easy for me to poke fun at her. Since then, I've seen her pop up here and there, whether that was on No Jumper or on Impulsive, and listening to her talk candidly about her mistakes reveals a lot of self-awareness and her just being a normal human being. I feel like Tana Mojo is just a kid with a spotlight on her, doing her best to handle her success. And other than leaving 5,000 people boiling in the sun last year, I think she's doing a pretty good job. Up until recently, Tana was dating Justin Bieber. Well, technically not the real Justin Bieber, but the one that looks just like him, you know the guy that ate the burrito sideways that one time? His name is Brad Sosa. Not that you need to remember that, because allegedly he's a pretty terrible person. Allegedly. For several months, Tana and fake Justin Bieber weren't just dating. Tana was tweeting and going on all of these podcasts, talking about how amazing her relationship with this guy was. Until it wasn't. Fast forward to a few weeks ago, Coachella happened, where fake Justin Bieber allegedly cheated on Tana. As for Jake Paul, unless he's busy busting out some other chick out of jail, you can always count on him to save the day. We're literally breaking it out of jail. I don't know if this is illegal. Chance had it that Jake himself was single during this time. He even took the time to put it on autotune. I'm single. So Jake and Tana looked at each other and thought, you know what? Neither of us has been in the news lately. Our channels are doing pretty well on their own, but imagine how powerful we could be together. So they hook up. Tana makes a post on Instagram with Jake Paul's bed in the background. Keemstar exposes them. She is literally in Jake Paul's bed. It is the same bed. And this forces them to come out and announce their friendship. I think this is the start of a great Friendship. Friendship. And I use the term forces very loosely because obviously this is what they wanted. They even said it in the video that they want people to make videos about them. And the internet's so boring. Yeah, there's nothing going there's on nothing right now. So Jake on. and I really just had to come through and give you guys some shit to be, to be mad about. To be, be, mad, about. be mad about it. Go off. Sure. Like we're Shane Dawson's sociopath kids. <laughs> and this is why I think these two are perfect for each other. The level of trolling and self-awareness that they bring to the table is unparalleled. It's obvious that they're trolling, that they both just happen to be single and they knew they'd get a lot of clicks if they played up this facade of being a couple. But still, it's working. And the thing is, they're both bad, but they're not bad enough to be villains. They're anti-heroes. Despite both of them doing dumb shit, there's still a part of you that wants to root for them. I think that's why Shane Dawson gravitated towards them. That's why he made documentaries on both of them, because they're still redeemable despite their fuck-ups. And having them come together like this in an openly clout-chasing, scandal-provoking hookup is the perfect marketing move. I've talked about this in the past. I'm fascinated about marketing, about unlikely slash unexpected team-ups. And this is the perfect formula. Think about the possibilities. Think about the money that these two could make by cross pollinating their channels, by working on projects together, by creating a Tanacon 2, now new and improved with 50% more Jake Paul. 
what's spicy about this is that as soon as their video went up, Tana's ex-boyfriend posted a video titled I'm Sorry, which is ironic because that's also the title of a very famous Justin Bieber song. Is it too late now to say sorry? And Jake Paul dabbed right on him by tweeting, I'm not. And look, it's easy to clown on them. It will be the easiest thing in the world to make a video right now about how dumb their fake relationship is. But I actually don't think it's dumb at all. People love high profile couples. If these two play off of each other correctly, they could be a freaking power couple that takes over YouTube over the next six months. Or they could go down in flames. Either way, Wilfer and I are gonna be there taking notes and you can count on us to get back here and spill the tea. What do you think of all of this? Do you think it's smart? Do you think it's dumb? Or do you just not care? I think just from a marketing strategy point of view, it's a very interesting case study. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.